what is going on guys i haven't gotten almost no sleep last night because the volcanoes are acting up and the earthquakes keep coming at the volcanoes and we have to talk about campi flegre because this is very very unusual i didn't report it when the news were out a few days ago this is the largest earthquake swarm this year well this year it wasn't old yet right of course this is not hard to be the largest earthquake swarm, but now I'm really concerned because this has been going on for quite a while. Uh, let's have a look at the list of the earthquakes first. So what you see here, it's not that we're seeing like what we're seeing in Santorini in the four ranges, five ranges, but it looks similar to what's happening in Santorini in terms of non-stop. It doesn't stop. Usually Campi Flegre did it like for a day or two or three days and it was quiet Then Vesuvius did a little bit maybe, but now it's been continuously rumbling. So if you look at the latest earthquake, that's 2.0. And again, what we're seeing in this list is only what's above magnitude one. So there's smaller ones as well. So there's way more earthquakes. What is interesting for us, the depth is shallow and the magnitudes for magma that's on the move that usually doesn't go that high unless we're seeing something really, really bad. So this is an indication that something is moving underneath. So let's have a look. The 2.0 here, that's the latest earthquake. Um, that's the epicenter that we see here. Um, Naples, right? Pozzuoli, Bagnoli, this is where the epicenter is. Here we have the Solfatara area that is the most active area right now with lots of fumaroles coming out and uh, steam coming out and basically the epicenters are always centered here in this area and you have to understand how densely populated this is. Uh, we have Vesuvius here and then there's Naples in between uh, Vesuvius here, sorry, and then there's Naples in between more than six million people. So where are the other ones? So we're going back from that event, back to the list. 1.2, 2.3 at a shallow depth, three kilometers, four kilometers. And we know the magma chamber that they discovered is also only at a depth like between 3.9 and 4.5 kilometers. So this is February the 15th. So it continues into the 15th. And then you see this is all on the 14th. Here. This is all on the 14th and then on the 13th it continues a 2.6. Where is the epicenter? Same thing. Here it's right on top of the Solfatara basically. There is the Solfatara. Same epicenter so to speak in that circle of Campi Flegre. Campi Flegre stretches around an area of 100 kilometers also into the sea. So interesting earthquake swarm i have to say so that's we're into the 13th and you see they keep coming 2.5 1.8 and then it goes down here there's the 12th i have to even go to another page this is how long this lasts and usually you only have like five earthquakes per day in a swarm and maybe that swarm can last for three days but here february 12 2.5 2.4 so these are already for Campi Flegre, these are the bigger ones if they're above two. And this is the 12th. And then we go right into the 11th, that's Vesuvio, but that's not far away. Let's have a look at where that epicenter is. So yeah, that's Vesuvius here, right? And this is Campi Flegre, that's here, there is Vesuvius. So the people here, they are enclosed between these two monsters. And Vesuvius has had more earthquakes recently too. But here, continuously, the 11th, February 11th, it continues, it continues, it continues. And then February 10th, also to one higher one, magnitude 2.3. And then on the 9th, also on the 9th, and then Vesuvius, also two higher ones, 2.5, 2.3. For that area, again, that is in the higher ranges, what we see. And then one day break, but also on the 7th, Campi Flegre, and it's really going back. We're wondering, what is this? And since we've seen what's going on in Santorini, 
in Santorini, we might already have a volcanic underwater eruption going because there's rumbling. And check out this video here. Something crazy happened at night in Santorini and it's definitely volcanic. So all these guys that said it's only tectonic, bye bye, it's not true. Something's going on and you could hear it. People were hearing it at late at night in the darkness. It was really, really scary. So they couldn't see anything, but they saw this massive, massive earthquake swarm where scientists said it's a change in pattern. So check out this video. I don't want to repeat it here because that is Campi Flegre. So the strongest earthquake of this massive, massive swarm was a 2.6, roughly at a depth of only at a shallow depth of only two kilometers. This is unusually long lasting and it continues into the early morning of February 15th. So there is no break no rest and we have already over probably 130 earthquakes that have been felt in the area and people feel them because they are so shallow so it's unusually intense in terms of duration and also we see these above magnitude two quakes what is strange is we don't see that the magnitudes are ascending like we've seen in Santorini. So we've seen a certain number of twos, then it went into the threes, then it went into the fours, then it went into the fives. And uh, it was escalating in terms of magnitudes. But Campi Flegre, it's going like always on the same waves with 2.6, 1.9, 2. Point something. In between, these ranges between one and two and three, something like this. And at shallow depth. So what is this? Is there pressure building up underneath Campi Flegri? And it's a bad thing because we know since the 1980s that the crust has weakened. So the crust that holds the lid on that magma that's underneath has only a third of its strength left. And when something is lasting that long at Campi Flegri, it is a cause of concern because we also have that land rise that has been taking place there for quite a while. So one thing that you can notice is if you look at the depth of the quakes, you can see that some of the stronger quakes are a little bit deeper than the more shallow quakes. So the shallower quakes are in the, in the upper layers where we already have the hydrothermal system of Campi Flegri with fluids. And then where could the deeper quakes come from? Well, there's a magma chamber at a depth of 3.9 kilometers that they have discovered just a year ago. So it's not far to reach the top. So are they at a deeper depth because the magma is trying to reach the surface? It's grinding or it's trying to build some tunnels to come to the surface. Of course, you know, we've seen this in Santorini. There's always, oh yeah, is this tectonic? Well, it's so centered around Campi Flegre, so probably the origin is related to the volcano. Um, but since there are fault lines and tectonic forces in play, um, there's always cracks underneath the surface. There's fault lines, there's cracks where Campi Flegre is on top of the magma chamber. And if there's fluids around, they could use these cracks to, to fly in there and fluid could rise through these cracks because if the if the top is getting more brittle, fluids can ascend, they can come up in this. And we know that the Caprock layer is more brittle since the magma intrusion that happened in the 1980s. So there is room, if, if rocks are broken, there's rooms for these hot fluids to rise up and of course for the magma to rise up. And of course, this is also causing rumbling. And we have a steady, land rise there with one centimeter per month. Last year in April, it switched to like twice that much, two centimeters per month. It has then come down again. But you know, if something's rising up and if something's rising up at an accelerated rate, as it looks like right now, the big question is, will the land rise accelerate also together with these earthquakes, will we see a higher rate of land rise? And what they're saying, this is called Brady seism. This land rise, 
combined with these earthquakes. And that has already began in 2005. And since then, the land is rising at a steady rate. Something's blowing up underneath the surface with a constant rate. So it has right about um, a meter 42, 142 centimeters. So if you do a really big stretched step, that's how much the land has risen since 2005. And since they have found that magma chamber at a shallow depth, and that magma chamber is filling up from a deeper magma reservoir, that magma chamber is most likely the reason for that land rise. If you know what's happening in Iceland, same thing. If you blow up a balloon underneath the crust, the crust is lifting up and that's what's happening here. So is there pressure building up? Could we see something coming out? Maybe just a small thing? Maybe just something that we've seen in Ethiopia or recently at Yellowstone. This is the phreatic eruption with lots of steam and rocks and stuff coming out. Um, you know, Campi Flegre, scientists raised the alert. They, some of them wanted to evacuate already over a year ago. So, and they said you have to prepare not only for stronger earthquakes, but also for a small eruption or a worst case scenario. The worst case scenario in case of Campi Flegre is affecting the whole world. We hope not that it will create a super volcanic eruption, but even a small one is bad enough because it's so densely populated right around the crater. So this was my update guide. I really urge you, update guys, I really urge you check out what's going on in Santorini. I'll put two videos in the end screen. Watch to a magnitude 6.0 at Fentale in Ethiopia, right at the footstep of the Fentale volcano that has shown us some clouds, some steam coming out recently. So is magma on the move there? Will we see something there? Is it a magma intrusion? And Santorini, maybe the eruption is already happening and nobody sees it. Check out the videos, check out the playlist, subscribe if you're new here, then you can be on the pulse with me because I'm staying up guys and I just ordered, I have to say, skip the dishes. I ordered coffee so that I have coffee. I, I did not have time today to go and get something. I just threw the dogs out a little bit. Go pee, go do your business. I have to go back to the videos. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel and buy me another coffee, go to mybuymeacoffee.com slash silky site. The link is in the description and I see you very soon. Thanks guys. Stay safe. Bye.